Metro Home Building Center starting gate is rolling here for race number two from Red Shores in Charlottetown tonight. Let's go back upstairs to Vance Cameron for the call. Leave it with me, Million Teen, Hopedale, Paris, Colossal, Colleen, Mayhem, Man, Bo, Sealster, Canadian Mint, and Ideal Lifestyle. Second race, top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Colossal Colleen, the first one out. Leave it with me along the rail and coming from the outside. That's Bo Sealster third. Fourth as they go to the turn is Million Teen. Moving up fifth is Mayhem Man. Sixth up the rail, Hopedale Paris. Then seventh, Canadian Mint, the trailer ideal lifestyle. Going to the first quarter, led by Colossal Colleen in line to Trevor Easter. Second on the rail, that is Bo Sealster. Mayhem Man is driving third on the outside and going after the leader. Leave it with me's on the rail, fourth, back into fifth, Million Teen. Hopedale Paris, sixth. Then Canadian Mint, seventh. An ideal lifestyle is eight, 29. And four opened it up. They arrive at the 3 8 led by Colossal Colleen. The company from the outside, Mayhem Man, and he may be in a whole heap of trouble. He's going to be out all the way. Third on the rail is Bo Sealster. Fourth, leave it with me. Upon the outside, fifth. That's Million Teen underway. Sixth is Hopedale Paris. Canadian Mint is seventh. And the trailer, Ideal Lifestyle, 59 flat for the half. Going around the paddock turn, arriving at the 5H, Colossal Colleen, the leader. Second, that is Bo Sealster. Mayhem Man starting to backpedal now, a winded third. Leave it with me at the rail, fourth, three wide on the outside, fifth. Million Teen up the rail, sixth. That's Canadian Mint, three deep, seventh. It's Hopedale Paris. Along the inside, the trailer is Ideal Lifestyle, the three quarters tripped in one. 29 and 1 on the turn for the final time. Colossal Colleen is still there. Bo Sealster to take a late shot at him from the outside, right alongside. Third up the rail, leave it with me. Canadian men fourth. They're in deep stretch now. And Bo Sealster gets there for Corey McPherson. Leave it with me. May have rallied for the news. Colossal Colleen is there. The mile in a one. 59 flat. Well, there's the replay tonight, and we talked about this guy in the pre-race. He had been dropping down. He was in the four claimers uh, three starts back. He went to the 851s, the 451s, 251s tonight, and Corey got him in the two-hole tonight, and he tracked perfectly here tonight. Following the four, Colossal Colleen the whole way, who took early heat tonight from Mayhem in, was still able to cut it out, but Corey took advantage of it, popped it to the two-hole two -hole here late, and was able to pace on by for the victory here tonight. Excellent drive, but Corey tracked all the way and uh, made the right move. In the end, Bo Sealster wins. It looks like the one's going to rally up here for second uh, tonight, and uh, the four will hang for third. 6-1-4 try in the second at Red Shores.
Well, we see Corey coming back uh, to the uh, winner's circle here. 63 wins on the season for Corey uh, here at Red Shores. And uh, Vance, we mentioned this earlier on, uh, teaming up with the Red Shores in the drive for charity. The charity is the PEI Sports Hall of Fame. Corey's got 63 wins in Charlottetown. Vance having another super season on PEI. Yeah, the drive for charity, once again, benefactors of some great driving talent here at both Red Shores locations, Peter. In the second race, going to the winner's circle, Bo Sealster facing Brown Gelding 8 by Modern Art from the Jade Lovell Dam Barrel Sealster, all by Kyle Wilkie of Stratford and Mallory Lewis of St. Peter's Bay. Kyle Wilkie is the trainer, Corey McPherson, the winning driver, the Mountain 159 and a 1 5th. That's a belated birthday victory for Miss Lewis. Bo Sealster and McPherson.